want to break down another thing. Uh, so I, I'm reading this book, and for the second time, I'm starting to learn different things and see different things in it. Because now you know you feel you you're feeling the book differently. Right. Um, and it's talking about uh, when you're listening to your woman. When you're listening to your woman, man, you're supposed to listen to her like how you listen to the ocean, bruh. Or like Speak how that. or like how you really. listen or like how you listen to the trees when you're out and about. Or like how let's say it's in the let's say like you just wake up, you want to get an idea or feel for the day, you kinda like look out the window. You don't have, right. you don't have to go like we grew, we now have this quick technology, quick access to the, the information. Now we have the, the weatherman on our phone immediately. Right, right. Back growing up right. when we were kids, or up until before 2008, <laughs> right, right. shit, even when we were grown-ups, uh, it, it wasn't as, as simple as that. You had to have, you, you had to have to, it on your television uh, or an actual access to it. If, if you had internet in your house or something like that, if you have internet in your house, you had to go down to get like the, the, the local grocery store or something like, you know what I mean, just to yeah, figure out what yeah. the temperature was of the day. Or you just looked out the window, figured it out, open yeah. up the wind, open up the door, looked outside. Like, okay, look, clear skies. We gonna have is a good it cold day. Today? Yeah, I exactly. feel when you was out there earlier. Right, exactly. Like, it's gonna be cold, bro. Simple shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're when you're listening to your woman talk, it needs to be kind of based on that. Not kind of. It needs to be based on that same idea, that same approach. Because a woman doesn't necessarily say what she means to say. And a woman sometimes will say something and don't really mean it. And that's why women kind of like will, will say some ruthless ass shit, bruh. Like evil ass shit out the mouth. But they don't really mean it like that because what they're trying to do is express their emotions and express what they're feeling at that moment. At that right, at that little moment, mm. and then at any, and then literally five minutes later, she feels different now. Mm -hmm. So now she's going to express something differently and express herself differently. So mm. the 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 idea is more so like when you when you're reading a book or you're reading paper or something like that. They used to teach you to read in between the lines. So you can kind of have a better concept of what's really going on around this motherfucker. Mm. That's what reading in between the lines is. Right. You're, you're, there's, there's no, there, when, there's no information in between the lines. Right. You know, there's no words in between yeah. the lines. They're saying use your third eye. Use something else. Yeah. Think deeper. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah figure sense. out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Let's use some common sense to kind yeah, of like, yeah, yeah. well, why would this? And then that's what well, I know. Mm -hmm. I do this. And I know mm -hmm. what she do. So you know. You, so when it comes to that, it's kind of reading between the lines when it comes to your woman mm. talking. And uh, I've, I, I've underst I understand it a lot better now to where it's just more so of <clears throat> the ocean makes all these crazy sounds. Mm. Like crazy sounds. Mm -hmm. The ocean does so much, bro. It's, it's, it's crazy. You know what I mean? But... It doesn't always make the same exact sound throughout the the entire day, right? It, but it constantly changes its sound, right? You know, but it sounds similar. Mm -hmm. It all sounds similar, mm -hmm. but it changes sound, and that's uh, that's how you should be uh, listening to your woman and listening for how she's you know trying to express her feelings. Because that's what she's doing. Just like we were talking earlier, I said, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, it, you can't really call a woman a liar. Like, she, she don't be lying like that. Right. Like, and at first you think about, it, like, wait, how's a woman? What do you mean? A woman is not a liar? Yeah. This bitch was lying. Yeah, yeah. She was just lying. I just yeah. caught her lying. Yeah, she's, she's lying. She's, it's not that she's lying because she don't even see it like that. That's a, that's a masculine trait. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Lying is, 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 uh, like when like keeping your word, that's something that's masculine. That's mm -hmm. something for us. That's right. why I say we, we females play a role, males play a role. Niggas need to know their role, and the better we can do with our role, the better and quicker we can get these females in line with their role. Right. 
You see what I'm saying? So we let's take care of us first. And hopefully the chips will fall where you know what I mean. Right. Into the dip. But with that being said, um, when a woman is lying, and like she could really just sit there and look at you in your face mm. and cry and promise you, I, I, I would never cheat on you. I would never do my swear. Henry. Henry. <laughs> I don't I said Henry. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, listen up. She was she was sucking uh, whatever whatever she does to you, she was doing to him. Right. So figure it out. Mm. With that being said, but she she in return when she's arguing with you and she's trying to figure out if you cheated. That's why she's trying to get you to tell the truth. She understands women in their DNA understand because she's feminine. She's in touch with her feelings. Right. She it's she's expecting you now to be a man and do this masculine thing mm. and, and tell me the truth mm. or lie or whatever, whatever yeah, you want yeah, to say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. she's a, she there, there's an ex, she, there's an expectance. There's a different expectance level. That's why there's like this 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 whole double standard type shit ain't really like it. Ain't, it ain't what you really think it is. A lot of times it just works. It just works within your, 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 you know, your role as being a man, and then your role as being a woman. Right. But a woman, right. a woman lying, uh, and especially like a, like a white lie or whatever, small lies, she don't even look at it like that because that's not how. Like it's all it's all based off her feeling. If, if she how she feels at the moment, she's just gonna tell you what it is. You know what I mean? She'll just tell you. And that's why when, like, a woman, if a man was to ask a woman, you know, about cheating or whatever, or if a woman does come forth and she's honest about her cheating, right. that that's the masculine. That's that that's the female who, who 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 portrays too much masculine role. She's not really a submissive woman. You know what I mean? She she she's a uh, excuse me. Yeah, she she she's been you know jumped to the other side. She's wearing the draws. And whoever she's with is wearing some panties. Ah. Uh, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, so um, but I just wanted to uh, break break some of that stuff down because it's it's kinda weird when you <clears throat> when you look at it, you know, kinda in, in different directions. And like another thing too, when it comes to the feminine and the masculine, like when when the woman is arguing, I've I've luckily learned this, you know, later on in life, sadly. My mid Sadly. in my mid twenties, uh-huh. thanks to a, a, a good man, OG, and uh, yeah, seeing I was arguing with my uh, kid's mother at the time, and he was just like, "Oh, you can't be doing that, bro." He just put me on game, like, "Yeah, it's not even worth it." He was like, "He was like, bro, what, what she's doing right now is she's she she's she's just gonna just you know this 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 give you all this about feelings 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 feelings, and then you're over here doing all this." Mm-hmm. Doing all this, 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 trying to give her this logic, logic, rational, rational, logic, logic, rational, rational, mm-hmm. logics, logics, and uh, that's where the problem comes in because you, if you're it, the masculine should be logical and the feminine should be expressing her feelings mm-hmm. in touch with her feelings, while the masculine is is rational, you know what I mean, and, and, and looking for an actual end game. Looking to make an end game. Okay. And there's no end game when you're dealing with the feminine. So when there is a moment in time for a woman to argue with you, if you really love her and you really, really care about her, there's two things you can do about the situation. Real game. Uh-huh. I want to get this out. Fuck it. It's free anyway right now. Give it out. All right. <laughs> All right. So... If you want the woman to submit and give in and be full of you, you want this woman to fall head over heels in love with you again, because we're going to assume a woman who's arguing with a man, you guys have been in love for a while, but there's most likely been something built up, but you want to have that, that, that super love and passion again. Right, right, right. Um, You got to go ahead and 
get your moment in, bring her close. Y'all got a hug, and it can't be no regular hug. Even if she's yelling or madden, mm. all upset, a woman ain't going to stop you from grabbing her and embracing her, no matter what. Um, pull her in tight. Hold her close so you guys can have your bellies touching, your hearts touching, and then just do some wild shit. And... <laughs> <laughs> wild shit is the wild shit is either like a yell, um, or like an animal noise, or 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 uh, start like singing or trying to like hum one of her favorite songs. These are one of your three wild things you can do. Right when you do that, it it the 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 touching, the body to body, the skin the skin, the uh, mm -hmm. even if you guys have your clothes on or whatever, just having the connection, the heartbeat, feeling the heartbeat, uh, the air, the oxygen uh, flowing together. Mm -hmm. Uh, brings you guys uh, like a, like a magnet, like it's magnetic, mm -hmm. you know, because we are different, you know, on different poles. Right. One's right. feminine, one's masculine. Right. 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 Once you get together, you kiss, quick little kiss, bro. She's gonna it's it, it's it's not even that she's gonna even want to forget the argument. She's just gonna fall back in love with you, and it's and it's about fighting her with love. Oh. So when you're in an argument with a woman, uh, there's no point in trying to get your point across. There's no point of trying to <clears throat> show her where she was wrong at <clears throat> or, yep. or show where you yep. were right at. Yeah. Yeah. If you really care about her and you really don't, and you really want to help her out at that moment, she's, uh, she's challenging uh, you again. Cause there, uh, there are, that's a constant challenge every day. And, uh, every, every, it could be every minute, depending on how crazy this woman is, but it, hopefully she keeps it all within her head. But <laughs> You know what I mean? But she'll challenge you every, every once in a while when she can. But anyway, right. but these are the moments when you're in that challenge. And while you're in that challenge, she's challenging you with your guys' communication. She's challenging if she can trust you. She's challenging your love for her. She's challenging if you're willing to, um, you know, be combative. You know, she's going to challenge. Are you, are you the type of person that wants confrontation? You know, this, these are the things she's challenging you on at this right, moment. Right. And uh, to avoid all these things or to try to be better or try to, you know, uh, see where you're right at or, or fight her on these things. If you really care about the woman and love the woman, the best thing to do is try to embrace this woman. Try to love on her. Don't sneak in a kiss. Don't do no weird shit you know, like that, you know. Like that. Bring her in. And if you can, <clears throat> now there's another level to this too. The next level is depending on where you guys are at in the area. If you can put if, if you can put her against the wall, or if you can put yourself against the wall, if you can put one of you guys' body against something else. So there is nothing uh, that's uh, stopping you guys from me getting even closer. Now you guys have the ability to even get closer. Uh. It's gonna it's, it's it's gonna make it's it's gonna make her melt big time. It's gonna fuck up her whole percent her her whatever her point of views were or whatever she was arguing about or whatever she was all that rage that she had that it came from what you what you did or what you said that made her feel a certain way and that certain way she was trying to express it but she can't express it right. That's why when you're arguing with her you always seem like it feels like she's going from this thing to this thing and then she's going from here and then well why are you switching it up on me? It's because she's not arguing with you about the point of the concept of the topic at all. It's about a feelings thing. Mm. <clears throat> That's why if you break her down in most of the arguments she'll say well you don't know how I feel. Well that's not how I feel. It's always a feeling. Well, it, well, it doesn't matter if you didn't buy me that. It's just the way I, I felt about it. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, fuck. That's the feelings. I, I, it's a, and, if, and if you understand this, this is the way to yin and mean. Now, I said there's two ways to go about it. That's the best way. That's the number one Put way. Put her on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you do these shows with me, guy. <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> I was just going to say, nigga, all you heard was, put her on the wall, <laughs> nigga. Put her on the wall. I like that. Yeah, put her on the wall. Okay. Yeah, pick her up. Put her on the wall. Whenever we arguing, I just try to, like, 
I'm going to like maneuver. That's <laughs> <laughs> the wall right there, buddy. Bing <laughs> Graves. <laughs> Bing Graves. Baby boy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. All right. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> that is sick. I'm like the sober too, though. man. That's the worst part about it. Anyways, I all hope right, y'all. I hope y'all yeah, heard yeah. what I was saying. And nah, not yeah, no, no. What yeah. he heard. All he yeah, heard was yeah. something totally different. That's why you got to no, get your head out together. That's real. But with that being said, <clears throat> the second thing you can do. Is you can try to argue with her. You can try to talk to her. You can try to, you know, you can try to, you know, break it down with her. But, okay. you know, um, going do going through that. Without it, yelling. You know, sure. with, you know exactly, exactly. Yeah. Without yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to curse her and, and bad name her and trying to yeah. trying to point out this and That's that so and, be, and show in, yeah. insecure. There's ways you can try to, you know, you can try to hear her out because within a lot of, Anger within a lot of pain, a lot of stress, and a lot of drama, and and comes past words. trauma comes out real words. Right. You know what real I mean. Words. So a lot of times, some you know, grand, your should, grandma should have taught you that. And if not, I hope I'm not the first person that told you this. When someone's mad, they, they they say the truth comes out, and it's not necessarily the truth comes out. It's just that this is some other stuff that was bottled up. It's not that this is the truth, or this is not. Sometimes you'll hear someone say some really foul shit. That's not exactly how they feel about the person. Uh, it's just what they're what what needs to be said at that moment where they need to express something that needs to get off their chest that they've been holding on to, and, and because of a certain moment, one or two moments that made them feel that way. So they, these are and and we luckily uh, have the English language where there's so many different words and so many different meanings. And if you're and if you know a few of them, then you're gonna say a few of them, and a few of them are hurtful. That's why you got to watch what you say. Mm. Uh, because sometimes, you know, say the wrong thing to somebody and. Yeah. They go for the guts. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so they're going to go for the guts. They're going to say some bad things when someone's hurt. And uh, I just want you guys to understand that. Uh, but you can learn something. You can learn a lot. You can learn a whole lot, not just something. You can learn so many things if you get into that argument with your woman and you try to be calm and you try to be mellow. And right. you're trying not to. uh fight necessarily right. with her right. you're not but you're not antagonizing her and being right. disrespectful right. about it you're not right. being you know you're not right. yelling you're not doing you're not right. name calling you're not right. being dismissive that's frustrating her more right you know you just you're sitting there trying to you know hold your calm which is an extreme an extreme an extreme hard thing to do but if you are able to do that you're going to learn and give, grab a lot of information right. hopefully you're smart enough to have mental note of it but if you're a woman, if you guys are done with that argument and there is, it doesn't escalate past anything, uh, it's going to make her so turned on by you. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Because yeah. now she's going to really see that uh, you have a lot of self-control, a lot of discipline. I hope some um, young cats really see this, like, in the 20s. Right. I wish I would have took that approach. I did. Ah, I did. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. Niggas just try to diss, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, you you put yourself in that position to where uh, the woman now sees you as a leader, more so, uh, you know, than okay. than she ever has, and when she sees you as a leader, then that means she will let you lead. If she will let you lead. She will become submissive. If she becomes submissive, then you guys will have an extreme unique sub, like your bond will be amazing. <clears throat> Because now you don't have a, a a woman that's you know leading, mm. and you're the, you're being submissive, mm. <clears throat> and she's controlling the thought of what you 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 should be doing. That's not a, a woman's. So a woman's the, a woman's DNA is not to lead. It's not in her. It's not naturally in a woman's DNA to lead. Right. You know. Um. That's why when you ask a grown ass woman right now, hey. You're talking about thirty year old woman and older. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you want to eat? What you say? What you say? What do you want to eat? Exactly. They have they have yeah. no idea 
Women have no idea. Hey, where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Hey, I'm off this weekend. You what do you, do? You, you can't. You 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 should never put a woman in a position to do that. Never put a woman in a position to make a decision. I'm always picking the spots. <laughs> I'm always picking the spots. You don't want buddy. to put a woman in that position, man, because it, that's not the feminine's role. Right. The role of the feminine is right. not to lead. Right. The role of the feminine is to follow the masculine. So, right. with that being said, right. um, you know, I hope they picked up a little bit of the you know what I mean that I was putting down. Um, with that being a leader, that's big. That's yeah, big, and people know too who the leader is. Oh no, no! Yeah. Oh, the people know. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we, as soon you as know. you come around, mm-hmm. the way she look at you, we can tell. Like, oh, oh nigga, yeah. she got the she wearing the drawers. Oh, yeah. She wear the jeans at the house. My nigga wear the skirt. Oh, oh yeah, fuck. But when the People also know, but then they like, did a turn around. He's the leader. Oh yeah, you this look is... at him with the, you know, with the. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. he doing? Where's he going? Where's it? Yeah, that's the leader. That's the leader. What's 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 my man doing? What does he got 